called the curtsy sponge. Don't try this at home. Okay, <laughs> you got it. Ow! I hit my lady for it. It's game time and I'm up one. Name something I ain't done. Name a body that's my type. Air Jordan, I'll take flight. I'm next level, I'm franchise. I'm top tier. I'm Good morning, Buff Babes, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Julia Renee. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn your post notifications on so you never miss a future video. Today, we are going to Houston. I have a jam-packed video for you. A lot of stuff is going on, and since I'm on prep for my bodybuilding show, I have a lot of stuff I have to bring. So, let's jump into the video. All right, so here I have my six-pack bag, and I'm going to fill it with all of my prep food. So I already prepped it all last night. So it is organized by day. So this is Wednesday. All of my meals in here are portioned out and put in individual bags. And then I have this one for Thursday. And I also have my hot sauces, my Mio, and my Stevia sweetener. So I'll put this in here too. And then this container has two whole eggs and a cup of egg whites. And I brought two of these. And then on this side, I have my supplements organized. I have silverware and I have a one Tupperware to use for when I need to stop and heat up a meal at a gas station. So let's just fill it with some ice pack. stuff to go for one night okay guys we are on our way to Houston and I have my little sister Chloe and she's going to be with us the entire trip what follows is a brief construction montage <laughs> Starbucks right now and I'm eating a meal before we hit the gym. I have my pre-workout already ready so I'm gonna start sipping on that now so it kicks in for when we start our workout. between bikini and wellness. There's a lot of differences between the two and a lot of confusion going around. So we're gonna kind of clear things up and we are going to get into a glute and hammy workout. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off on the abduction machine just to kind of get warmed up. Um, I'm gonna start off with about 15 reps and then I'm going to drop the reps and increase the weight.
our second to last set and I am going to do as heavy as I can go for as many reps as I can and then I'm going to drop the weight down and I'm going to do it lighter and I'm just going to do pauses. So I'm going to open my legs and keep them at the open position and do that until failure and then we're done. Do good, do great and they talk bad on you. No mean, no face cause they're not factual. I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through. I might hit the bank and get a bag or two. My mama asked me why you got that cash room. Second you switch up, they might get mad at you. No, you're not my friend, so no, I'm taxing you. You are like my sons, I'm going dad on you. Okay, good job, good job. Now we're gonna move to hip thrusts. I'm gonna do the same rep range as I did in the previous one. So we're gonna start with 15 reps. I might add a band in there just to add a little bit more resistance. And then we're going to drop the reps and we're going to increase the weight. Okay. You got it? <laughs> Like a baby, cuz I know my paper straight. Another day to the grave. I get it, cuz I got to. I got kids, I need the bank. Thank the Lord when I wake. I've been sleeping like a baby, cuz I know my paper straight. Another day to the grave. I get it, cuz I got to. I got kids, I need the bank. I've been getting paid. I've been eating good. I've been putting on some weight. Five plates on each side. I'm gonna try and get six. That's till failure. We're gonna move to dumbbell RDLs. Okay, bye. So my versa grip, so that I have a better grip.
to do dumbbell sumo squats. So we're gonna do it on a platform. If you're short and you got short legs, your range of motion isn't very much. So if you raise yourself on a platform, you can get to get a little bit lower. So we're gonna do a wide stance, hold the dumbbell right here to the towel and go up, squeeze the glute back down. Garrigan's gonna show you our next workout. So you see how by her curving her back like that, she's keeping all the tension on her lower glute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do good, do great, and they talk bad on you. No need, no face, cause they're not factual. No, no, no. I won't stay too long here, I'm just passing through. I might hit the bank and get a bag or two. My mama asked me why you got that cash room Second you switch up, they might get mad at you No, you're not my friend, so no, I'm taxing you You are like my sons, I'm going dad on you Okay, good job, good job, get mine, no prob Hit my line, you're irking me, I hit that woo No, I don't got perks on me, I sleep good on God Spend that money, make it reappear, ta -da. So Kerrigan and I are going to do our posing routine side by side so that you can see the difference between the two and what the judges are looking for. My legs are like shaking, but it's fine. I know. Um, we're gonna do a little Q and A once again to clear up a little bit of confusion between the two divisions. So, one of we're gonna do the questions that we got in common. So, mm -hmm. one of the biggest ones was what the judges are looking for in bikini versus what they're looking for in wellness. So, do you want to start? Go. Sweet. I'll start. So, for wellness, what the judges are looking for is actually to have a body that's not symmetrical. So it's the only category in bodybuilding where they don't want you to be proportionate. So they want your upper body to be 
smaller than your lower body. Your lower body has to dominate your upper body. So that means glutes, hamstrings, and obviously quads. And they're actually starting to dock people if their upper body is too muscular. So some people in the figure division have very developed quads, but they're being docked and pushed to the end because they're too muscular on top. So there's a fine line when they compete in, the they compete okay. in wellness. Yeah, so yeah. that's the main differences and that's kind of what the judges are looking for. And they don't want to see, I think the amount of leanness, and definitely correct me if I'm wrong, the leanness for bikini and wellness is the same. Yes. So they don't want to see striations, they don't want to see um, too much separation. They want it to still be very feminine and very light. So like in bikini, it is, you know the rounded rounded shoulders from the back like I said or like she said not crazy conditioning they're they're looking for and it, it has changed over the years they're looking for a very bubbly look and how you get that is by being lean enough so that you're not soft but also filling out and having the muscle mass to create that feminine like curve the next one is difference in posing main difference for wellness is they're having you do quarter turns so basically what that means is you are going to move in a clockwise formation. So you're gonna hit a front pose, you're going to hit a side pose, you're going to hit a back, side, and front. So they're gonna do that for comparisons when you're next to the other girls. For the routine, uh, kind of like bikini, you it's kind of like a free-for-all. You get to choose from your mandatory poses and create something that accentuates your body. Yeah, and show your strength. Yeah. Like it, hide your weaknesses, yes. show your strength. Like, <laughs> so that's definitely what it really is, is just highlight your strengths and yeah. hide your weaknesses. <laughs> so in comparisons, they have the quarter turns, like she said, and then bikini, we just have front and back. So another question that we got was the differences between training for bikini and wellness. So first of all, with bodybuilding, you're literally bodybuilding. So you kind of have to train based off of your weaknesses. But for me, I actually have three leg days a week. I have them split up in a way that gives me adequate rest, and I have a... Um, chiropractor appointment and a massage appointment once a week to make sure that my body is ready for that because it's a lot to take and um, other than that I have two lower body days or two upper body days and on those upper body days the volume is higher but the weight is significantly uh, decreased because like I said before I yeah I don't need to build any more upper upper body muscle because I need to have that physique that's a smaller upper body and have a more dominant lower body. So it's all based off of um, not only strengths and weaknesses, but also fitting it into the category. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so me fitting into bikini, like I said before, wellness was a thing, my legs were too big. So I haven't trained quads in nine months-ish, mm -hmm. just to bring them down, because a lot of people out there, like you wanna like bring down your legs and keep your butt. So that's basically what I'm doing. So it, it's definitely been a weird thing for me this year because I can tell my legs are significantly smaller, but I am fitting into the division more. So the only time I like, I train legs, which doesn't include quads, is on Wednesday. And then on Saturday, I have a posterior chain day. So I'm going to do pull movements as well as glutes and hamstrings. So that, that's just kind of how mine looks. And then I needed to build a lot more shoulders. So I actually have two push days a week. Um, it's Monday and Friday, so there's ample rest time in between. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much the difference. Okay, so the next question that we got that was very similar was, how do you know if you should do bikini or wellness? So it depends on two different things. So it also depends on how soon you want to compete. So if you are really excited about competing and you just want to compete and you are new, I would say definitely go into bikini first because yeah. it's a little bit of a less muscular category and you have a better chance of doing well in it. Mm -hmm. But if you are not in a rush and wellness is something you, something you like really want to do, take time and build into that category. Mm -hmm. I knew already that my body was more suited for wellness because I've been quad dominant since like middle school so i've been building for that for about two and a half years so that when i competed i can actually be competitive and do it yeah and i want to say something about what she said about quad dominant i'm saying this as a coach a lot of times when they start leaning down they're not necessarily quad dominant that's just where they held fat so i think a really good way to find out where you fit 
already, like before you really decide where you need to go, is cut down as as much as you can, honestly, exactly. to kind of see what your muscle mass is compared to your fat mass. And then you can decide which one you want to do from there. Yeah, because then you might find out when you cut down that you actually don't have as much muscle as yeah. you think you do. So what we're going to do is another question we got was we are going to compare sizes so that you can see, you know, the difference between our glute sizes, our quad size. I think that's probably the best, right? Glutes the and quads. Hashtag ratio. Yes. So she's 20 inches. Okay. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 25 and a half. 25. They used to be 26. Sheesh. So she, right there, right there, it's about 34 and one fourth. It is 40. 40. So yours was 30, 30 34 and a half. on the glutes, 40 on the glutes, and 20, 20 on the quads, 25 so and So we're about something. like a five inch. Yeah, it's about a five inch like difference. Whole ratio. Final question at, that we picked today was like advice for a first time competitor. So give it everything that you have. You're gonna be a lot happier with yourself on stage if you're up there and you're like, I left no stone unturned. Like I know for me, if I, if I ever like didn't do as well or if I have a check-in where I didn't look as good, I'm like, okay, what did I, what did I do that I could have done better? Because I guarantee you, all the hard times that you go through in prep, you're not going to remember them when you're on stage. All of the times that you're hungry or tired and wanted to skip cardio, but you didn't, you're going to remember that as like being proud, you know? My biggest advice for a new competitor is make sure that your mental health is fine before you compete. If you are unstable, before you compete, competing is gonna make it worse. Um, the cardio, the diet is difficult, that's just one thing, but the hardest part of prep is the mental aspect of it. It will bring out shadows in you that you didn't even know were there and you will learn so much about yourself, but that is actually the most rewarding part. So if you are ready for the challenge, I would say go for it. Um, and it is not for the faint of heart. It takes more than you ever know. And you wake up a bodybuilder, you go to sleep a bodybuilder. It's a full-time job. All right, guys. So I hope that gave you a little insight on to our two divisions. Mm -hmm. I had, like, so much fun. I've never done a YouTube collab. So I know, me so either. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And also follow Julia. What she said. Do yeah. the things. <laughs> All right, we are leaving Alpha Elite. That was the most incredible workout. I can't wait to actually do that again. And she's literally the sweetest thing in the entire world. So we're gonna go to our Airbnb and I can't wait to show you guys. I wanna tell you what it is, but I'm not going to. Okay, we made it to the Airbnb and we're staying in a tiny home. It's so small. I'm gonna show you. on my meal so I was starving and it was so good and Chloe's over there eating Chipotle I don't know how to there he is <laughs>
eating the chapato. So I'm going to do some work for a little bit. I am utterly exhausted from that workout. And we woke up this morning at 4.40 in the morning to get our cardio done before going to Houston. The next morning. Good morning. It is, what time is it? Almost 6. 5.52 in the morning. And we just got to Alpha Elite Gym. And Chloe's going to do cardio with me. No. She's like... Uh, let's do it. Get on, and then there you go. Launch yourself, launch. There you go. what they look like before. Numbing cream. I am here with my meal. Meal number two. Heated it up at a microwave at a gas station before we hit the road. That is going to be it, guys, for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and your notification bell is turned on so you never miss a future video. I love you so much, and you are more powerful than you think. Bye!